Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? It's episode 14 of just another Minecraft series jams. And I don't know where this zombie is coming from. So I'm going to protect myself before I get wrecked. And I did some work on the tree farm. I think I told you about that. Um, in the last little episode where I told you guys I got sick. My cat is like freaking out over something. But I don't know what it is. So I'm going to ignore you. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah, you want to tickle, tickle. Hey. Hey, cat's attacking. <laughs> change, this ep change this network to a cat's attacking. But anyways, I've done some work to the tree farm. And um, so I've been sick. I've been home a little bit. So let's give a little bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, the front facade is all done. That is right. The front facade is all done. I think. Oh, no, actually it's not. So i got to figure out what I'm going to put in the front holes here. And if I'm going to enclose this. I don't No, I'm not going to enclose it. I changed out the stuff on top here. Uh, I had snow and packed ice. And I brought it to the elements that I've used in the castle, tree farm thingy, whatever. I've got miniature hat shells and I repeated the designs on both sides here. So it's I'm liking what it is looking like now. I hope you guys do too. Um, and I added some more of those things. Uh, stone fences on some more of the blue stained clay. Let me eat. And I've also been testing out the farm. Um, so you see, I now have a, a little bit of wood. I mean, I don't have much of the one wides, but I got a bunch of the two wide stuff. Two by two trees. And I changed up the floor. Initially, I came up one, and all this was up one, but I didn't like the pressure plates here um, being a half a slab low. So um, I recreated the floor at floor level so you didn't have to go up and you don't have to go down to hit the pressure plates added these temporary entrances I there's something missing here um, and I'll figure out what that is eventually I added the glowstone because you know lights are needed out here because now it's not on a half slab things can spawn out here and um, what else have I done oh I made all of these now they all are working and I filled in you know this used to be dirt actually it was hill here I cleared out the hill and um, filled it in with the stone bricks and slabs and stuff I need so all of these work before just these two over here worked and as you see it collects stuff too amazing and this one works Duh! I have to like leap of faith there because I don't think it's gonna be up in time but it usually manages to get up in time. And also now um, I initially had this whole place covered with diorite around the borders. Now I'm replacing the diorite and putting the walls I want. And I'm going to now put, um, I think I'm just going to put blue glass up here to the top, to that level there. Um, because I've noticed cutting down the trees and working that saplings and stuff do land here. And actually, especially with the jungle trees, I had a jungle tree, actually, is the leaves spawn all the way out here, which I didn't think was possible. So I'm going to have to fill in the glass in the front or do something. That's the problem I have with this front section, is I don't know if I, this should all be glass or if I should add stone here. So you can't really see in there, but I kind of want to be able to see in these things. So I don't know. Maybe I think I might do glass up to this first level here then do stone I don't know but anyways those are things I'm gonna be trying to figure out I don't know how much of it will be done in this episode and if you want me to move on from this tree farm because I know I've been doing a few episodes on the tree farm let me know in the description but if nobody complains I'm gonna continue working at this tree farm until this thing is done or I just pull out all my hair and decide to do another project so I'm gonna get to work and I will show you what I have done in about two seconds I am back at my base 
underground where I normally hang out and it's a very very ugly place and I need to fix that so what I have decided to do is make some sort of path so let me go show you what I'm talking about let's get outside put my helmet on so normally I come out here and I have two places to go I got right and left and there's left doesn't look too easy to get to and right not real easy to get to so what I'm thinking is making some sort of path that follows this location going this way up and around over to the tree farm over here so what we're gonna do today is make this path because um, I saw Etho he made this video where he made some sort of retaining wall and it was very um, entertaining um, not so much entertaining but <laughs> It, it looked a lot better than I thought. I, I hear retaining walls and I go, yuck. But um, I think I'm going to try that over here so I have a nice, easy, easy path from where I always go to my main base from. It's really not that good a path right now. So um, it will be better and it will come out to those melons and it will come right over here. And so I can get into side my base. And also, one from up here, I'm going to have it come down and meet the path. So, I'm going to get to work, and let's see what we can do. So, in the um, clip earlier, at the very first clip of the day, I said I was going to be working on the tree farm. But, after I recorded that clip, I got um, information in the prior video. I was going to... I said... Hey, should I still work on this tree farm or should I move on to another project? Because I had done a bunch of tree farm videos in a row. And the over on, over, <laughs> everybody basically said, you know, it'd probably be best if you moved on from the tree farm for a couple episodes. So you know what? I decided I'll move on from the tree farm for a couple episodes because, you know, ultimately, yeah, I'll make these videos for myself, but, you know, I got to please you guys too. And... I was just afraid that if I did not finish the tree farm, um, that I never will, you know? So I was afraid to move on. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move on, work on this path, fill up my chest with snowballs again, <laughs> and um, work on this tree farm. I mean, not the tree farm. Not work on the tree farm and work on this path. So I'm going to do some um, cutting here with this path. And I will be right back with you, show you um, some progress I'm doing, and hopefully what I'm going to be doing with this path is something that you enjoy. I'm going to decide to make the design now for this wall. And what I usually do is put columns up, and then have four spaces in between and another column. So it's basically a five wide um, sectional piece that you can repeat over and over again, or change up however you like but normally I just repeat over and over again um, and I think I'm gonna have a curve around to the side because uh, I need to get to the other side but we'll wait for that in a second so the blocks I'm gonna use are the same blocks that I um, basically used for the tree farm which is the basic stone brick block cobblestone stuff and I kinda wanted to tie in with the tree farm over here so that's why I chose those things. I may utilize some uh, packed ice or whatever later just to kind of combine the two uh, buildings. But basically I just, you've seen this before where I go have the different blocks on my bar and I just move along and just randomly move to the next one. Um, and it's just my way of getting a little randomness going on in here. Let's, so I don't know how high I'm going to have this. It's going to probably go all the way up to the top of the dirt there, but I'm not too sure. But I'm going to throw in a little bit more of this wall just to make sure it looks okay before I continue making it. Because who make, who likes to make a whole project and go, oh my god, I used the wrong blocks and have to take out the whole project. I like to kind of know what I'm doing beforehand. I think that kind of does look okay. And like I said, I'm going to have to curve it around here and uh, make it somehow go over to the tree farm entrance over there. But... You know, that's what we're here for. We're going to figure it out and we're going to get this done. 
Alright, so I'm looking at this from a distance, and it looks like it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest wall in the world, and obviously it's got to go higher. But I need to uh, cut it out to do the curve here. So, um, while I cut this out, I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, about the uh, what I had applied for. But you see all this dirt over here? All that's going to be gone. So, everything can be seen from the pathway and see the um, see the tree farm but here's the angle that I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna tell you my little story I applied for a server called Afterlife SMP because the people on the server are really cool um, and they run the server it seems like the best um, best one I've seen that I've come across the best one that I've seen run is what I'm basically trying to say so it, it seems like a really special server and I wanted to become part of that and uh, so I applied for it I made a video uh, you've seen probably seen the video if um, you know who I am and whatever because most of the people who watch me um, watch basically most of my videos so I'm happy about that thank you for that by the way um, but the ultimate decision was I'm an old cracker they don't want an old cracker and I kind of understand why they don't want an old cracker because uh, most of the people on the afterlife server are teenagers and I know when I was a teenager in high school you know the last thing I wanted to do is in my free time hang out with some dude that's 40 years old and I'm not just 40 yesterday was my birthday and I turned 44 40 F and 4 so yeah I uh, totally understand um, and I kind of figured my that was the big negative for me applying to the server I, I'm pretty sure my my contents not great but I'm pretty sure my content is decent enough um, to make the server but my fear was the age and that was what ultimately I believe kept me from joining because um, when I was got the message stating that I was not going to be part of the server I said well you know what um, if there's any constructive criticism you can give me and to help me out my videos make them better so and so forth uh, let me know and he's like um, although Jay kind of sent me a message back I don't think it's about what your content is or I'm kind of paraphrasing um, it's basically your age <laughs> And which is something I totally understand. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of bummed out. I'm not on the server, Ooh. but I, at the same time, I totally understand why they didn't want to. So the guys at Afterlife, don't worry about it. Um, I completely understand. And like I uh, had told Jay, and I think I've tweeted to everybody from the Afterlife server, maybe in a group um, tweet. Um, if there is, if you are like planning on doing something. I'm going to try and make this not... No. Uh, if you're going to try and uh, do something as a team and you find out that you're one person short, hey, there's some guy down here in Florida, South Florida, that would uh, most likely be very interested in working with you guys and having fun on a project or something. So that is out there. Um, I am around just because I was not accepted to the server doesn't mean... Um, I'm gonna hate you guys and not watch your videos and not like your videos. It, it's all good. And I just wanted to remind you guys that hey, I am here. I would like to collaborate. I know my schedule sucks to collaborate, but um, I am here if you need that extra person. And and no uh, hard feelings on this at all because I completely understand. If if it was because my content sucked, I would have been more upset. But going into this, I kind of thought the age was going to be an issue to begin with. So I'm going to work on this some more, and I'm going to show you the progress now. All right, this seems to be the end of my wall creation. So let's see what this looks like. I, I just made the you know the lower wall because of the lower background but I made it try and fit the background a little bit of course I might build this up a little bit still 
And let's see from a distance if it's worthy. It is worthy. I kind of like that. Um, not the greatest thing in the world, but it does what it needs to do, which is give me a path from over there to over here. So I'm going to work on this, um, the floor a little bit, and I'll be, you know, this floor. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too far from the wall. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on this for a little bit. So what I was actually thinking with the floor or the ground here, um, let's see. Let me cut out some of this up here because this is going to be the level that I put the blocks on. Um, I was actually thinking of going with the same blocks again. Kinda. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because we don't want packed ice down there. But I do want... Um, this scattered through here a little bit. Do we want gravel? Yeah, we don't want that. This is coarse dirt. Um, not too sure if I want that. Well, actually, I do want some of this, so... It's kind of what I do. I kind of told you earlier. I just put them in order and just kind of go down the line and fill in the holes. And I do have that stairs won't look good there. I'm going to have to do it a different way. Yeah, throwing my picks around. There must be a cave underneath me because all I hear is zombies and spiders and good stuff. Well, not so good stuff. So I kind of want this organic. I, I do want it to be... What? I don't want another stair there. I don't want it there. Um, oops. I don't want to be too organic where you just don't really know where the path is, but what are you going to do? I think this is good. I'm also going to figure out what type of um, block I'm going to have to line the path. I think only every few blocks over here will I have a specific type of block. I also made the stairway down. I think this path will work. And, um,. I'm going to get busy with it. Alright guys, I'm almost done with the floor. I'm just filling in this area that I cut out a little bit, maybe too much. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. And this should probably come back out to the edge here. I'm just kind of trying to define this pathway a little bit better. Um, there's going to be some terraforming going on here. Now that I've cut out this hill, I probably would like the hill back. But, um, the floor, I guess, is okay. And it's in the snow biome, so it's going to be covered eventually. But, uh, this is the way it's going to go. And, um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the edges and things like this. That doesn't really look that good. So there's going to be some, um, tidying up things to make it look better. Add some lights in here. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to do some of that and be right back. All right, guys, I've kind of run out of time for today's episode. And I don't know if you noticed a little change with it. Um, instead of doing two or three clips of 10 to 15 minutes long and boring, you guys, I decided to figure out what other people do that I enjoy watching. Um, people like Etho, people like Exuma. People like Mumbo Jumbo, and it's getting dark out. Oh, well, we can watch the sunset and talk about this little subject. That is right. Pick up those. Yeah. So, um, I watched a whole bunch of their videos, and I took notes while... <laughs> i to stop falling down there. While watching those videos, and I come to realize that most of their 20-minute videos have 10 to 14 cuts. Which means that most of their clips are one to two minutes long. And I even noticed in one of the Mumbo Jumbo videos, he had a montage of a time lapse, which are really cool. And it lasted four something minutes long, which 
you know, a clip in one of my videos that is as short as four minutes long would be really short for me, but it was kind of long for him, and I noticed it actually felt like it was dragging. So I am tried. I recorded the first clip, then I did all this, um, uh, do you call it? Oh my god, work brain. Um, I studied the videos, I guess I should say, and decided to do the rest of this video doing that. So I'm going to edit it, see how it comes out. Maybe it will come out like crap. I don't know. I'm not used to doing short clips, and this clip's not going to be too short itself. I'm going to take a little nap. And, um, and see how it goes. So let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, i uh, not that good at it. i got to refine my skill at trying to get to the point and move on to the next thing. But um, I just wanted to let you know that I changed it up a little bit. And before I go, I've decided I'm going to put some sort of statue or monument here in this space instead of rebuilding the hill. I don't know what it's going to be, but it, it's probably going to have to do with water. It's not going to be a fountain because everybody does fountains. It's going to be something else, so I will work on that probably the next episode. Then show you some of the work I've done on the, the big thing because as you see, a lot more of it is completed, but um, that's for another video. We're going to take a couple of video break from that thing, and I'm going to work on that while I'm doing this other stuff. Um, but anyways, I hope you like this video. Let me know if you like the quicker cuts um, and so forth. You know, I'm really needing some gold right now. Well, have a great day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner. Smash the like. Well, I don't smash the like. That's somebody else's saying. Hit the like. Well, that's probably somebody else's saying, too. Take your nose, move the mouse to the like button, click it with your nose, and let me know in the comments if you actually did that. Goodbye.